We are thrilled to have you join the Cougar family. We want to show you the basics of campus living, transportation, housing and residence life, Cougar Guard, dining services, finances, and student employment. The transit system provides a great way to get around campus and Pullman. Buses stop near places on campus like the Cub, the Student Recreation Center, the Chinook Student Center, dining centers, and residence halls. Buses also run to residential areas in Pullman and near grocery stores, restaurants, and entertainment venues. The transit system is funded by student fees, so all students need to ride is a Cougar card. Other options for travel include the Zipcar, Zimride, and the Wheatland Express. The Zipcar is a short-term online car share system, which any student 18 and over may use for an hourly or daily fee. Zipcars are great for trips to the store, Moscow, Lewiston Clarkston, or even Spokane. Zimride is a rideshare site to help students get where they need to go or simply save on commuting. It's used often to find others making trips to the grocery store, the airport, or to get to other parts of the Northwest. Wheatland Express is a local charter bus company that provides services for regular and holiday trips to the greater Seattle area and Spokane Airport. Seasonal services are available to other parts of the Northwest, such as Tri-Cities, Portland, and Tacoma. If students choose to bring their own car and plan to park on campus, they'll need a parking permit. Residence hall students are eligible for crimson, gray, and blue lots. Crimson and gray permits are in highest demand and sold on a first-come, first-served basis. Parking permits for residence hall students go on sale in July. Students who live off campus will also need a parking permit or may use pay to park areas. Parking meters on campus accept bank cards and coins. Visitors, including parents, will also need to use pay to park areas or purchase a daily parking permit. Walking and biking are also great ways to get around campus. Students can rent bikes for free on campus with the Coog Bike Program. They can check out a bike with their Cougar card at stations around campus and have easy transportation around campus, Pullman, or could even take the Bill Chipman Trail to Moscow and beyond. For more information about campus and Pullman transportation, visit transportation.wcu.edu. Residence halls are a great place to be in the WSU community. There are opportunities to make dozens of connections with the support of the Housing and Residence Life staff. It's a safe environment with easy access to resources and success on campus. WSU Housing Services creates room assignments and manages the cleaning and maintenance of residence halls. Students who have completed their housing application and paid the security deposit and first payment can be assigned to a room in early summer. If they are unhappy with their room assignment, they can request a different room after they move into their hall. Some good things to bring to the residence halls may include a fan, laundry basket, posters, pictures of family, and any electronic equipment they can't live without. Don't forget a computer and snacks in bulk. Most students bring a small fridge, but only a few halls have the electrical capacity for microwaves in rooms. The residence halls that do allow microwaves are Olympia, Community Dunkin' Dunn, Northside, and Global Scholars Hall. Most floors in all residence halls have kitchen areas with microwaves for use. If students are trying to decide whether or not to bring a bike, they can check out the Hall Questions tab on specific hall websites at housing.wcu.edu to see how much bike storage their hall has. Some have indoor bike storage rooms, some have limited indoor storage, and some have outdoor bike racks. Check the housing website for a resource list of things students should or should not bring. Housing takes care of cleaning public areas in the hall, including lounges and community bathrooms. Students are responsible for cleaning their own room and vacuums and brooms are available for use in every hall. Maintenance issues in student rooms can be addressed by completing a work order at the front desk of their hall. Residence Life is a staff of student resident advisors, residential technology assistants, and professional residential education directors that offer support in the transition to college and campus life. Resident advisors, or RAs, are student leaders who live in the residence halls and are trained in community building, conflict resolution, emergency response, diversity awareness, and academic resources. They put on programs to help residents become involved on campus and make positive choices to get the most out of their college experience. Residential technology assistants are assigned to every hall and are adept at using computers and technology. They can help students connect all of their devices to the WSU network and help solve computer and technology issues. Residential education directors, or REDs, direct the halls and oversee the staff of resident advisors. They hold master's degrees in areas of student development and go through extensive training. They are available to help students with needs ranging from academic to homesickness. We understand you may have questions about safety. The residence halls are safe. 
Doors entering living areas are locked 24 hours a day. All exterior doors are locked during the night and resident advisors do security checks every night. Professional staff is on call 24 hours a day. For students not living in the residence halls, but who want to be near classes and enjoy the WC community on campus, WCU has nine apartment complexes. There are four single student apartment complexes and five family housing complexes. University apartments are a simple option with one bill per month, lease flexibility, and a built-in community. For more information about housing, residence life, or university apartments, visit housing.wcu.edu. One thing Cougars can't live without is their Cougar Card. There are four main services provided by the Cougar Card. University ID, Facility Access, Residence Dining Account, and Cougar Cash. The Cougar Card provides easy access to student fee-based services such as the Student Recreation Center, the Chinook Student Center, the Transit System, Student Events, acts as a library card, and even grants access to sporting events with the purchase of a student sports pass. For students living in the residence halls, the Cougar Card provides secure access into their hall and for some students, acts as their room key. Students will also use their Cougar Card for their RDA meal plan and dining centers. More information about RDA will be provided in the dining section. The Cougar Card can also be used as a 100% optional university debit account that students can take part in through the Cougar Card Center. Simply add money to the Cougar Cash account and purchase things at on-campus locations. The benefit of using Cougar Cash is having fewer cards to keep track of, as well as a discount at University Dining Services locations. There are on-campus locations that do not accept checks, credit cards, or bank debit cards. Some on-campus locations only accept Cougar Cash. Adding Cougar Cash is easy and can be done online, on mobile devices using the free Get app, or in person at the Cougar Card Center. If you're unsure how much to deposit to Cougar Cash, check out cougarcard.wcu.edu for common semester expenses. Cougar Cash and RDA can be managed or added to by students through the Get Funds mobile app and website. Students can download the app or go to the website to check their balance, view recent transactions, inactivate a lost Cougar card, or add to their accounts. WCU chose US Bank as its partner to offer students, faculty, and staff the option to add banking functionality to the campus ID card. WCU may receive financial support from US Bank in the form of marketing funds, card operations payments, card stock reimbursement, or other compensation to offset costs otherwise incurred by WCU. Students, faculty, and staff are not required to open an account with US Bank to receive or use the campus ID card for other campus services. Whichever account students choose to participate in, the Cougar card is secure. The picture ID limits fraudulent purchases, and staff are trained to check the ID picture. If a student loses their card, it can be deactivated online through MyWCU, with the Get Mobile app, or by contacting the Cougar Card Center. If you have questions about the Cougar Card or functions, visit cougarcard.wcu.edu or the Cougar Card Center conveniently located in the Cub. Now we will show you how we keep students well-fed with delicious and healthy food options. The Cougar Card allows students to use their residence dining account, or RDA. RDA acts as a meal plan. Students will sign up for it when they complete the housing and dining application. There are two parts to RDA, the base cost and RDA dollars. The base cost is a flat fee that covers the use of dining facilities, maintenance, and the staff who prepare and serve meals. Beyond the base cost, students will choose a meal plan that provides a spending amount for each semester. The RDA meal plan works like a debit account. There are three levels of RDA dollars to choose from. Level one is the best for students who plan on eating off campus a lot, whether with friends or buying food at grocery stores and cooking for themselves. Level two is for students who will be eating at dining locations sometimes and eating off campus sometimes. Level three is for students who plan on eating most of their meals on campus at dining locations. Students can customize any RDA plan to meet their needs by adding dollars to their RDA account at any point during the semester. The RDA level can be changed during the first eight weeks of the semester or between semesters. RDA dollars roll over between semesters if the student is returning to the residence halls and purchasing a residence dining account again. RDA dollars can be used at all three dining centers, Northside Cafe, Hillside Cafe, Southside Cafe, and many other dining locations on campus. Dining Services provides value to students by pricing dining center food at a 40% discount off retail prices. For example, ordering a chicken burger would cost a faculty member or any other visitor to the dining center $6.49, but because RDA holders have paid the flat fee base cost, their dollars will go further and they pay only $3.89. 
Students also receive a 10% discount off retail prices at Espresso Bars, Markets, Carlita's Mexican Grill in the Cub, and Freshens in the Cub in Chinook, Einstein's Brothers Bagels, and Flix Cafe. It is important to remember that there are just over 16 weeks in a semester, and the flexibility of the RDA plan comes with the need to manage for success. Reference the dining website for weekly budgeting tools by plan and costs for typical meals. Dining Services prides themselves in offering a variety of high quality selections and nutritious options. Meals at dining centers include entrees, deli, salads, pizza, grill items, vegetarian, and vegan options. There are always allergen friendly and gluten friendly choices, healthy sides, snacks, and beverage options. The dining centers are mostly pay per item. Dining Services has a registered dietitian who works with our chefs to ensure meals are as nutritious as possible and to find options for students with allergies, intolerances, or other special dietary needs. She is available to students who want to learn more about food and nutrition and manages a nationally recognized My Nutrition program that can be found on the Dining Services website. Dining Services is proud to be certified for their sustainable food practices. Dining is committed to offering locally sourced food as much as possible and partners with local farmers, ranchers, and business owners to provide the freshest ingredients and support the local and regional economies. Dining is certified with the Marine Stewardship Council to ensure the seafood being served comes from sustainable sources. Dining Services also cares about food security and works to ensure no student goes hungry. The Kooks Feeding Kooks program was created to support students who don't know where their next meal will come from. Eligible students can request funds at studentaffairs.wcu.edu slash kooksfeedingkooks. Donations are accepted at this website as well. Food pantries are also available across campus for those in need. Dining centers have flexible hours for a busy schedule. There are other food options available when dining centers are closed, including two late night options, Flix at Southside and Einstein's Brothers Bagels on the north side of campus. RDA dollars can be used at espresso bars for coffee, pastries, snacks, and other foods and at markets for snacks, beverages, frozen foods, sandwiches, salads, and convenience items. The Market and Global Scholars Hall sells organic fruit and produce and provides an array of international, gluten-free, vegan, and healthy pre-packaged choices. Students can also order food online using their RDA or Cougar Cash. They can use the dining website or the Get app to order food in advance at many dining locations across campus. The Get App also serves as a virtual ID at most dining locations and is the preferred method of payment to create a touchless payment experience. Another function of the Get App and website is Get Funds. It can be used to manage or add to RDA and Cougar Cash. The app can be found at dining.wcu.edu slash getfood. Online ordering is also available through the Crimson Bake Shop where you can order treats and special occasion cakes for pickup. As always, Dining Services is committed to creating an enjoyable, healthy, and safe eating experience. Our staff is well-trained and maintains all standards provided by our industry and local health authorities. Access to food is an important part of student success, and we are proud to serve our Cougs. For more information about Dining Services or RDA, visit dining.wcu.edu. To complete the housing application, students need to review and agree to the housing and dining financial contract. This includes details on prices, the payment plan, and financial policies. If students need to refer back to this contract, it can be found on the housing website. Payments can be made online at any time with Visa, MasterCard, Discover, American Express, or eChecks. Parents or guardians can make payments for students if they have their ID number and create their own friend ID. Students can also make payments at any of the publicly accessible web kiosks located across campus. Cash or check can be used at the Housing and Dining Financial Services Office in Stripe Parham or in the Cashier's Office in the French Administration Building during standard business hours. To check account balances and transactions, students can log into their WCU account at mywcu.wcu.edu. This is a convenient one-stop place for students to make payments, add money to their residence dining account, view their housing and dining balance, or see account details. Parents or another third party can only view this account if students authorize them to. More information is available at mywcu.wcu.edu. Account details are not available to parents or third parties unless students grant them permission due to the Family Education Rights and Privacy Act. Instead of mailed invoices and billing statements, students owing money on their housing and dining account receive electronic notices at mywcu.wcu.edu. Past due notifications will also be sent via MyWCU. Visit the housing website for more information. 
If students are interested in employment on campus, there are many opportunities in these areas. Some areas, like dining services, hire students throughout the academic year. Other areas, like the CUB, Housing and Residence Life, and University Recreation, hire at specific times during the academic year. Students who would like to work on campus will need proper documentation to set up payroll. Some proper documentation examples are a birth certificate or social security card, along with a state ID such as a driver's license, or just a passport. While students may not want to come to campus with these documents, they cannot start work without them. These need to be the authentic documents, not photocopies. Check individual websites or WCU's job posting website called Handshake at ascc.wcu.edu for more information about job opportunities. We're here to help you with your journey through Washington State University. Whether or not you feel ready, we are. Welcome to the Cougar family.